Okay, uh, good day once again. So, we are now going to continue our, our activity. Uh, previously, we have, we have uh, constructed uh, four circuits. Huh? Uh, the control circuit, the, the standby indicator circuit, the run indicator circuit, and the fault alarm indicator circuit. Uh, uh, this uh, time we are going to connect uh, motor circuit. Uh, motor circuit. <clears throat> so in motor circuit, we are going to have our source, which is line one, two, three. Then our circuit breaker for our protection. Then uh, our magnetic contactor. Uh, main contacts, which has a terminal of 1L1, uh, 3, 3L2, 5L3, 2T1, 4T2, and 6T3. Take note, this is main contact of, of magnetic contactor. Now, for overload relay, uh, we have terminal 2T1, 42, uh, 5T3, uh, 2T1, 42, and 63. And then we have our motor, uh, three phase mo uh, AC motor connected in delta. <clears throat> now the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to connect uh, our source to the circuit breaker. Huh? So line 1 connected to the circuit breaker terminal. So we have three circuit breaker terminal and we have also uh, three lines for our source. Now if you notice, uh, it is already connected. Now this, uh, this line is already connected to line 1. The second terminal or second line is connected to line uh, 2 and the third is connected to line 3. Next is we are going to connect the circuit breaker to the magnetic contactor. Now for line 1, this is connected to 1L1. <coughs> okay, so <coughs> this is line 1 of circuit breaker and this is 1L1 of the, of the magnetic contactor. So, I connect na ito. Uh, 1 or line 1 to 1L1. Okay. Then, line 2, 4, 3, L2. Huh? So, line 2 sa circuit breaker will be connected to the second line of the magnetic contactor which is terminal 3 L2 and the third line or line 3 of circuit breaker will be connected to 5 L3 okay so line 3 Connected to 5L3. Now, on the other terminal or on the other side of the main contacts, our main contact of the magnetic contactor, we have uh, this will be connected to the overload relay. Now, you will notice they have the same uh, terminal markings. Huh? They have the same terminal markings. So, 2T1 of magnetic contactor will be connected to 2T1 of our overload relay. Okay. So, this is the uh, 2T1 terminal of magnetic contactor. And this is the 2T1 of overload relay. Okay. So, notice of the uh, take note of the of the connection. Uh, this is on the upper part 
Now, if you notice, they have the same label. But, the, the magnetic contact, the magnetic contact or main contact is connected on the upper portion. Okay? Kasi blood ring yung connect sa dalawang mouth. <clears throat> Next is uh, terminal terminal 42 connected to terminal 42 of the overload relay. Okay? Magnetic contact or main contact to the overload relay. So this is our 42 and this is the magnetic or the overload relay. And also, 6 63 Check that on Check that on 63, yes And this one is 63 This is 63 So 63 of magnetic contactor is connected to 63 of the overload relay. Now you will notice nga ang connection natin kasunod lang. Ha? Sunod na ang connection from, from the source to the circuit breaker to the magnetic contactor and to the overload relay. Now from overload relay this will be connected to the motor terminals, which is Terminal 1, Terminal 2, Terminal 3. Okay? So, connect that on uh, to T1 to Terminal 1. Okay, so this is Terminal 2 T1 of magnetic contactor. And of, of, of overload relay connected to line 1 or terminal 1 of the motor. Then, uh, terminal terminal 42 this will be connected to line 2 of the motor. Okay, so this is uh, 42 and this will be connected to line 2 of the motor. And the last is 63 of overload relay will be connected on line 3 of our motor. Okay, so we have now uh, finish our connection so we will try uh, our circuit if uh, it will operate no? ok so again uh, switch on the power source then switch on the circuit breaker ok so you will notice that um, atom the standby lamp uh, is lighted no? Okay, we will press the start button. Okay, so start. Now you will notice na nag-run ang atang na ng motor. Now it is running. And the, the, ano, the indicator lamp of run lamp also lighted. <coughs> so if you want to stop the motor, just press the stop button. Okay, so uh, let's review our circuit now. So again, we have five circuit, the control circuit, the run indicator circuit, the standby circuit, and the fault alarm circuit, and also our motor circuit. Now take note sa atong yung motor circuit, you'll notice that uh, the pasunod na ng atong yung pag-connect. Na pasunod na kita. Uh, from the source to the circuit breaker, from the circuit breaker to the 
main contact o magnetic contactor from magnetic contactor to overload relay and from overload relay to the motor okay so we have uh, our uh, we have completed the the construction of our motor control circuit okay so just i uh, know just uh, just uh, see the, you know, the, the video once uh, in a while or pwede nyo ma, nyo man liwat liwat itong tantaw para nga ma, at least ma, master nyo ang pag uh, connect. Okay, so once again, this is your, your <coughs> uh, instructor. So take note that uh, you have to stay safe always. Not only sa aton diri nga pag-perform, but also in case uh, you want to you want to go to school, no? If, and you want to perform this, so dapat may arak ka mo mga safety uh, precaution like uh, you have to wear your mask, wear your your face shield, and do not do not forget to bring alcohol. Okay, so thank you very much and have a nice day. I hope you enjoy. So thank you.